Hey everyone, Redux of Valor Ridge. If you're like me, you're probably annoyed at the constant assault on normalcy. Let's go ahead and get started. You know what prompted this video idea today was I was looking over, sometimes just news stories just pop up on the internet or in my uh, feed. And I saw today uh, in Major League Baseball that there's like several rule changes that that are just outrageous. If you're a person like me, I grew up watching baseball. I played baseball in high school and uh, I appreciated the intentional fact that there's not a clock anywhere related to that. And now in Major League Baseball, they want to put all these clocks in there. They want to change the dimensions of the bases. They're even talking about moving the pitching mount in order to make the game faster. Well, maybe people don't want the game faster. Maybe they enjoy watching Major League Baseball for the fact that it's one of the few sports out there that didn't have a clock. All this to say that all these things that have been happening recently in our country, it's always about attacking what's normal, what's functional, what works. You know, if you're watching the news the last couple of days, and, and by the way, the, the previous weeks before this, I just wasn't involved in the news cycle. I was doing other things. I was getting our property ready for our classes. I was conducting our classes. I was living my personal life outside of the news cycle. And then all of a sudden you take about a five, six, seven day break from the news, and then you come back to watching it and you think you're living in a parallel universe. All of a sudden, a former president's indicted on ridiculous charges, breaking tradition of 250 years of our country. Once again, an assault on normalcy. If you're like me, you've already subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you'll soon find out that I like traditional things. I like our fundamental natural rights. I like the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, all of the other protections in the Bill of Rights. But it seems like there's a whole entire slew of people out there that don't like normalcy. And to paraphrase Voltaire, he says that anybody that can get you to believe in absurdities can get you to commit atrocities. I want you to think about all of the absurd things that you see. I make this, these videos not for strangers out there. I make these videos for my family and my friends and my high school students that I taught to give them a filter for the BS that young people constantly get bombarded with. If you're in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, you at least have a somewhat uh, azimuth, if you will, for what normalcy is. But if you're a young person, I couldn't imagine being 30 years or younger, having seen all the crazy things that have unfolded in their lifetime. Economic challenges, ridiculous idiotic presidents, Things happening in society that no functional society should have to experience. I mean, we're at a point in our nation's history where the definition of words is contested. Where people can't even tell you the difference between a man and a woman. Where people can't even tell you the difference between whether we live in a democracy or a constitutional republic. If we can't even agree on those fundamental terms, we're probably not going to agree on a hell of a lot more. And I can tell you guys and gals this. I have a pretty decent threshold when it comes to absorbing stress. I have a pretty decent threshold with dealing with uh, intense situations. I've got a pretty decent tolerance for uh, different ideas. Where I do not have a tolerance for is the corruption of young people's minds. Where I do not have a tolerance for are people saying that my rights don't matter. If your starting point is that your constitutional rights don't matter, we have nothing further to discuss. And unfortunately, there's a large amount of people that will talk about the Second Amendment and that your rights are not don't matter at all. Our lives matter. Well, you know what? I agree. You have a right to life. I also have a right to mine and a right to protect it, as does everybody else in this country per the Second Amendment. And if your starting point begins with you don't have your you know you, your rights don't matter. First of all, that's the only thing that matters in the United States of America is our rights. And I don't care about your fear and your emotions or your mental illness. I don't care. And for you young people out there, do understand, we live in a constitutional republic. You've probably heard the word democracy 10,000 times or more in your lifetime. It's a lie. We live in a constitutional republic. And I don't care what your little middle school teacher or your little high school teacher said, maybe even your dumbass college professor said, we live in a constitutional republic. 
And there's a vast difference between a constitutional republic and a democracy. You wanna look at a democracy? I will submit Weimar Germany and ask yourself how that went eventually. Well, here we are. We have people in our government that want you to believe in absurdities. They want you to believe that we live in a democracy. They want you to believe that if you just give up some of your rights, we'll all be safe and the whole world will be okay. And then we'll sing Kumbaya and they won't come for any more of your freedoms or your money. That's what they want you to believe. The reality is they want to take away all of your rights. They don't want you to have free speech. They don't want you to have a right to defend it. And they want to take as much of your wealth and as much as your money as possible in order to placate their useless voting base. That's the reality. And another problem that we're gonna be facing is, is that they want you to constantly feel fear and agitated and nervous and hopeless. That's kind of like their game plan for the younger generation. And the only answer, of course, is government. Well, that's bull crap. First of all, the government is not your friend. The government is not your ally. The government of this country, the United States, as it sits right now, is so hostile to freedom and our foundational values that it is completely illegitimate, it is completely repulsive to me, and it is absolutely out of bounds with what our founding fathers wanted. Now, how's that for a reality check? In addition to that, once we've gotten to the point now where anybody that disagrees with the powers that be is somehow a domestic terrorist or somehow the, po the people that disagree with the official narrative should somehow be re-educated, which is all not my words, but theirs, now we've got a problem. I will tell you guys and gals this right now. The Second Amendment is our insurance policy against such imbeciles, against some pissant wannabe tyrants that are out there. We are one of the few nations in the world that enjoys a Second Amendment. We are one of the few nations in the world where being able to arm yourself and protect yourself against government is guaranteed by being here in the United States. It is in our charter of governance. It is in our constitutional liberties. And unfortunately, we live in a time where people that are so ignorant and so uninformed and if they're not ignorant or uninformed, are so hostile to the idea of limited government and individual liberty that they will twist and shout to the maximum extreme to take away rights away from you. No, those times are over. We're at a time now where the average individual who goes out and puts food on his table for his family, we're at the point in time now where the people that just want to be left alone, they don't want the madness and the chaos and the insanity, they don't want redefining terms of men and women, they don't want their kids corrupted, they don't want pedophiles having access to them in a public school system, they want to be left alone and they want to have their child educated properly. We're at a time right now where that may not be possible anymore. So their self-responsibility rests with us. The duty to educate your family and yourself and your community, that is an individual responsibility. The time for deferring responsibility is over. And on another note, I would like to share this. Anybody that tells you that you have to violate your religious beliefs in order to participate in society, no, absolutely not. Do not tell me what I have to believe, what I have to have a definition of a man or a woman is. Do not pontificate to me what I have to morally believe or that I have to have something that violates my moral conscience. Do not do that for one second because you will find out that although there is a soft-spoken side, although there is a patient side, there's also a side that is capable of saying no. And that runs through my DNA. That runs through the DNA of the people in my family that have fought for this country in the American Revolution, the people that have fought for this country in the war between the states. And it goes all the way back to biblical times when my ancestors fought against the Greeks and the Egyptians and the Babylonians. And it goes way back there. So I'm sure there's plenty of you watching this video out there that understand exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm sure there's some rabble rousers out there that when your way of life is threatened, when your conscience is violated, when your family's security is violated, that you will fight like lions. I would expect no less. And I would also expect no less out of the younger people out there to be able to filter through BS and see that the mad men running this country and the idiot women like Nancy Pelosi and Kamala Harris have zero 
qualifications, they have zero moral superiority, and they have zero credibility in the eyes of anybody that believes in this country. And I know I haven't done a video in a long time for you guys, because guess what? I'm not gonna participate in the negativity every single day. I'm not gonna bring you constant news stories that like violate your soul. I'm not gonna bring you constant videos. I'm going to put out well thought out, well articulated, and truthful videos that recalibrate everything. And if you need your, your weekly dose of reality, I will try my best to put them out when I can. But do understand, I do run a full-time business. I do have a personal life. And I'm not a content creator for volume or for money. I'm a content creator to help you know that you're not alone. I try to speak the things that I know so many people are saying out there. I've had enough. I'm over it. These people that are insane, these men that dress up in women's clothing and say they're, you're not. A woman's a woman, and she has two X chromosomes. Get over yourselves, stop being idolatrous, and you better recalibrate yourself psychologically and philosophically. If this offends you, I hope it does. And if it gives you strength, because you're a normal individual who can think, thank you, you're a blessing to me, and we'd love to see you out on the ridge. This is Reed Hendricks of Valoridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.